Today I am sharing over a hundred habits of successful entrepreneurs. My name is Kath from kathkyle.com and I am the creator of Millionaire Mindset Takeover course and I help entrepreneurs to improve their thinking so that they can massively increase their success in their business. So let's get started. So here are 100 plus secret habits of successful entrepreneurs that you can copy yourself. So the secret to being a successful entrepreneur is to adopt as many success-based habits as you possibly can. And here are the most important habits. So the habits of successful entrepreneurs are what sets them apart from everyone else. When they realize that their routines start to accumulate positive effects, then they make them a non-negotiable in the running of their business. And this actually works. Now, did you know that what you do routinely has a huge impact on what you can be in the future. Habit formation has been a topic of discussion in career psychology because it has positive Im implications on your work productivity and your levels of prosperity. So it's therefore no wonder that the most successful business owners seem to be living out their best lives while some people are just struggling with the hustle and grind all the time. And if you've yet to adopt any successful habits, you are going to absolutely love this because I have compiled a list of habits that you can easily implement to start living the life of your dreams and one that is not restricted by time and has more flexibility for things that you love. So these are actually all the habits that I've adopted in my own life to help me to run a successful business. So here we go. 100 plus secret habits of successful entrepreneurs that you can copy right now. Number one, wake up early and start the day right. Allocate a few minutes for meditation when you first wake up. Start the day by scripting your day. And if you've not heard of this, this means writing down exactly how you want your day to go and feeling the feelings of having it. This is what I do when I wake up. I plan my day, I script my day. I feel like I'm having the exact day that I want. I don't check my phone. I keep my phone on flight mode and I don't check notifications. Really important, set your working day on what you want and not what other people want. I also recommend setting your alarm clock to wake you up, but intend that you wake up before your alarm clock so that you can wake up naturally. So your subconscious mind can be easily programmed. If you tell your subconscious mind, I want to wake up at 5.50, set your alarm clock for six, you'll be surprised that you actually wake up at 5.50. Make yourself a stimulating herbal tea and savor your drink. I don't drink anything with caffeine in it. Um, this is intentional. I think it's too stimulating and I prefer natural energy. And just have a few minutes of uninterrupted drinking time to stimulate your mind first thing in the morning and rehydrate your body. Then jot down the thoughts that come to your mind first thing in the morning and let go of any negative thoughts and reframe them into more positive ones. It's important not to block out the negative ones, accept them and then let them go. Then do some exercise, go out for some walking, jogging, cycling or any other outdoor sports to get yourself some fresh air and exercise before working so that you can stimulate your brain activity. Block off each time each day to disconnect from the internet. It is important that you are not completely connected to the internet all the time. Turn off email and mobile notifications during your working day so that you do not get distracted by other people's agendas and stick to your own goals. Attend to your communications at the scheduled time only, not when you are scheduled to do something else. Compartmentalize your daily schedule into working intervals and I call this time stamping my day. So I block out my time into one hour chunks and I allocate things that everything that's important to me gets at least one hour of my time each and every day. At the end of every work day, clear your desk of clutter so that you can begin a new work day feeling really good and feeling really clear and calm. Do one task at a time, only one thing, and avoid multitasking. The brain can't cope with it unless one of the activities is something that doesn't involve your brain at all, like um, driving somewhere you've already been, cooking a meal that you've already cooked, cleaning up, cleaning the house, that kind of thing. Plan all of your daily activities in advance. 
keep your work organized there should be a place for everything so you should always know where everything is and you're completely organized refrain from micromanaging your team hire only self-starters and individuals who can work independently and delegate as many ta tasks as you possibly can to your team and then that's how you free up your time and get the balanced life that you really want work on the tasks by order of urgency but also at the same time trust your intuition so don't blindly follow your to-do list trust your intuition if something doesn't feel right don't do it and if something does feel right implement that instead start with the high value priorities put off email correspondence and phone calls until their designated time block always say thank you to your customers and team members stick to the plan even when things get scary push through fear but be guided to the right actions at the same time always have a black a backup plan like a plan b but only ever work towards the plan a only have it in your mind that the plan a is going to work but having that backup plan really helps you to not worry what happens if plan a doesn't work because you've got a backup plan so you can relax and enjoy working only towards the backup plan a uh, to the towards the plan a keep a gratitude journal and write down things that you are grateful for it's so important to keep your mindset in a positive place by doing this and it brings more things to be grateful for every day allocate a 30 minute block for reading every single day to keep your mind sharp if you like to recharge by taking power naps take a 10 minute power nap to recharge during your less demanding hours Set aside downtime to enjoy a little entertainment like watching TV, reading a book, playing games, that kind of thing. If you have to travel for meetings, always take a book with you so you don't waste a moment. Listen to podcasts during your downtime or when you're working, um, walking or working out or cooking, cleaning the house, that kind of thing. Listen to relaxing music while you're working at your desk to keep you productive. Listen to audiobooks during your breaks so that you always keep your mind sharp and keep learning new things. Stretch your arms and legs occasionally as you work. Stay hydrated with a bottle or a glass of water at your desk. Eat when you're hungry, don't allow yourself to get hangry. Avoid overindulging in meals to prevent the tendency of mid-afternoon slumps. So eat just what you need and no more, otherwise it will zap your energy. Intend the outcome of every single task with love. This is one of the most important tips I could ever give you. And I've got this written down on my desk on a little mini blackboard is that I always remind myself before I start a task to always intend the outcome with love for other people and for yourself for the highest good of all. Maintain a sleeping routine of seven to eight hours a day. Refrain from unhealthy vices such as smoking and heavy drinking. Set aside the weekend for personal and family time. Pursue your passion during the weekend, not your work passion, other passions. Practice a personal reward system each time you succeed by hitting your business targets. Watch motivating speakers like TEDx shows to constantly upgrade your thinking and inspire you to take action. Track your progress by plotting your daily achievements on a, gra a graph or use an app if you like. I like to use Google Docs, Google Sheets to plan my graphs of my progress each month. Always be on time for appointments. Respect your time and other people's time. Enroll in online courses and always be learning new skills so you can keep helping people in new ways. Always be focused on how you can improve customers' lives. Keep a journal to evaluate your progress at the end of the day. Group similar tasks into batches for easier execution. Schedule a weekly and monthly review to see the progress of the business. Write a bullet journal for easier referencing of tasks and progress. Create lists according to tasks for anything that concerns the business, such as inventory list, to-do list, urgent list, etc. Create a beautiful working environment so you feel motivated at work. Add salt lamps and crystals to your desk to raise your energy. Use an essential oils diffuser to boost your immunity and energy while you're working. Participate in community events for outreach and networking. Plan your week in advance, but don't be afraid to change things if they don't feel right. Always start the working day on time. 
learn to trust yourself with your time and your plans are one of the most important things that you can do for your own success because if you stick to your plan then you trust yourself to do what you planned to do and to keep your word to yourself so when you when you write down your goals you know you can trust yourself to achieve them send thank you notes to and emails to your clients say words of gratitude for each and every customer that you have regularly create opportunities for your clients to buy from you if you don't create opportunities for your clients to buy from you you won't make any money so that's super important when you're running a business spend some time planning your promotions for the upcoming month set goals and targets for your sale learn how to be a better leader improve your public speaking by practicing in front of a mirror eat a balanced diet and refrain from overindulging to stay fit Improve your confidence by making tasks about other people, not yourself. Put away your mobile from your desk during working hours. Dress accordingly for your work, but wear what makes you feel amazing. For me, that means comfortable clothes. Make me feel amazing. Offer a helping hand to your employees wherever necessary. Don't aim for perfection. Always intend that tasks will be good enough even if they aren't perfect. Create systems and procedures for all regular tasks. Take the guesswork out of repetitive tasks. Decide which success rituals you are going to follow each and every day. And I, I go into a lot more detail on all of these things in my book, Stamp Goals. Make sure that you allocate enough time to spend with important people in your life on a regular basis. Keep a goals board at home for inspiration. Add a post-it note or mini blackboards to your desktop to remind you of important mantras like intend everything with love. Segregate documents according to tasks pending and tasks accomplished. Buy a treadmill desk if you have the space. That was one of the best things I did for my health and for my productivity was to walk as I work. Spend some time each day reading affirmations to get your brain geared up for success. I love this so much that I recorded my own affirmations. I also have these for sale and they are super amazing if I do say so myself. Allocate a day each week for socialising. Allocate a day each week for nature trips. Give some of your time or money to charity. Always invest a proportion of your income to grow your net worth. Always end the day by reviewing your achievements and congratulating yourself. Use productivity tools to speed up tasks. Only schedule meetings if you can't get the job done any other way. End each day by planning tomorrow's tasks. Set aside one day per month for planning. Set aside one day per month for managing your finances and recording your stats. I usually set aside the first of every month or the first working day of every month. Allocate time for meditative yoga. Create a timeline for all tasks within a week or month. Give out freebies to your clients and people who are not your clients. This is a freebie that I'm giving out to you right now. Set aside free time before and after appointments to avoid stress. Consult a mentor or coach for professional advice regularly. Allocate some time each day for self-care activities. Set aside a schedule for training team members on new tasks and skills. Read business bi biographies for inspiration. Clear your inbox on a daily basis. When doing your emails, either delegate, delete, diarise, or deal with each email as you come across it. Use a project management system like Trello and keep communications with your team to that system. Read business books regularly. Reflect on the workday and jot down your thoughts. Always make a list of everything you are grateful for every day. Plan your day based on your goals. Do your most important goal-based tasks first. Play memory enhancing games in your free time, and especially before going to bed. Always say to yourself that you have a good memory. Focus on work one day at a time, and according to the level of difficulty, prioritize the ones that will have the greatest impact. Read spiritual books or books on manifesting or the law of attraction on a regular basis to keep your mindset in the right place. Create a room for ambient light in your office. Light produces feelings of positivity while working. Leave the work behind once working hours have passed. Transfer the unfinished tasks for tomorrow's workload instead of returning home to finish them. Always believe that your success is inevitable and you are always on the right path. 
So I hope you enjoyed that. And next step, now that you've got the tools you need to get your mind and your habits in the right place for success, you might be looking for the right tools that your online business needs for success. And I have a free gift for you that will give you all the tools that I used to create a six figure blog. It's called the Ultimate Passive Income Toolkit and I will leave a link below this video. And I also have this other free gift, which is a free business goal planner and it helps you to set three essential goals that are success, uh, that are essential for every successful business. It helps you to track your daily progress and plan your ideal day, week, month, quarter and year. So I will leave links to that below and a link to this blog post so you can go back recap on these habits in the future. So to recap, the habits of successful entrepreneurs are worth imitating, not because they have worked for these individuals, but because the routines they've set are aligned with the end goal of maintaining a healthy work-life balance. As we race against time, it really does matter how we utilize it in the accomplishment of our business goals without neglecting other life duties. While it is the mindset that starts everything, it is the habit formation that will keep your business running smoothly and successfully. And I am a major fan of goal setting and helping entrepreneurs to achieve their goals. And I have so many free resources that you can use to get your mindset in the right place with your goals and actually achieve them. So if you go to this blog post, you'll find links to some of my other great blog posts on there. And I would love it if you would follow me on YouTube and leave a comment below and like this video. Let me know what your thoughts are. What are some of the habits that you implement every day? I would love to know. I'm always looking for new habits. Um, I just love them. So go and like my Facebook page, follow me on Pinterest. I share my blog posts on Pinterest. I, set, I share quotes on Instagram every single day. So um, I really hope that you have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye.